Speaking of fires, you know, January is Firefighter Cancer Awareness Month, something local fire crews in Knox County say they are extremely grateful for. WAT 6 on your side reporter Corey Sanning spoke with some today and joins us here in the studio. Yeah, Bo, according to the data from the Knoxville Fire Department, firefighters have a 9% higher risk being diagnosed with cancer and a 14% higher risk of dying from it than the average person. And that is why they say it is important to bring awareness to the reality of the dangers they face. It's a nice hard job and we'll do it whether or not we're recognized for the dangers or not. But it's awesome to know that we have people out there fighting for us and recognizing those dangers. The dangers Larry McAfee speaks of are what firefighters deal with daily dangers that can ultimately lead to cancer, which is why January is now Firefighter Cancer Awareness Month. The International Association of Firefighters began recognizing Firefighter Cancer Awareness Month in uh, January of 2021. Uh, before then, it was just us having to go out to our legislators and talk to them, just try to bring awareness on our own. Those discussions paying off as they are now recognized for the added risks they face daily. So firefighting is an inherently dangerous job. Uh, and like you said, smoke is a part of it, and it's toxic. Uh, you have all kinds of carcinogens inside of smoke, and we breathe it in and cause different types of cancers. But luckily, the state of Tennessee has recognized that uh, those dangers do exist, and we have presumptives uh, included in where we have some protection. But even with those dangers, McAfee says he would not trade his job for any other career. I love going out there, helping others, and putting a smile on their face. Knowing when people call us, it's the worst time in their life, and so if they're able to help. We're able to help them and uh, put a smile on our face during those times. It's awesome. Now, it's also worth noting that 63% of the names added during the Fallen Firefighter Memorial last year were people who died from occupational cancer. Just another reason to bring awareness to those fighting on the front lines. Bo?